let's look at this idea of, of how to find all the solutions to, to a particular equation. And I have the equation y equals 3x minus 2. Now, before we jump ahead on this one, because um, by the method we're going to use, some of you guys are looking at this and saying, well, wait a minute, there, there's, this equation follows some pattern uh, that I think I've been taught before or I remember before. And you're probably right. Well, no, you're not probably right. You are right. And what this fits is this idea of y equals mx plus b. And we'll unpack this a, um, a little bit deeper in some upcoming videos. So I'm not going to touch on it too much other than say, if you recognize that, good for you. Because you are recognizing something that is useful, something that is true, and is something that we are using to build up towards. So I'm not going to unwrap that gift yet, but I will down the road. So that's why we're writing most of our equations in this form where we have some y equals a, a constant x minus or plus some last number, a y equals mx plus b form. So in the meantime, before we do that, let's go ahead and plot or graph y equals 3x minus 2 by plotting some points. The strategy that I like is to draw an xy table, and I like to choose any values of x that we want. And my favorite values of x, I love choosing 1, 0, and negative 1. You may choose those three. You may choose a different value. It doesn't matter. Um, so if you want to choose a negative 4, you're welcome to. If you want to choose a scary number like 1 half, you can do that. I wouldn't, but you can. Uh, if you want to choose a number like a 113, you can do that as well. And the reason we can do that is because there's an infinite amount of solutions. But we only need three right now because those three will help us determine what the line looks like. So let's go with easy ones. One. Three times one minus two produces a one. Zero. Three times zero is zero. Zero take away two is negative two. Negative one. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 take away negative 2 is a negative 5. I have three points. That produces three ordered pairs. One is the point 1 and 1. 0, negative 2, negative 1, negative 5. And then my other numbers that I threw in there just to show you that we can do what we want to do. Three points, that's enough to produce a line. So I'm going to draw my xy table or my xy coordinate. I know I had the point one and one, over one, up one. That's one point that exists on the graph. Zero and negative two, so over zero and down two. I have a point there. And then I have the point negative one, negative five. Backwards negative one. Well, backwards negative one, but back one, which is the negative direction, and down five. Two, three, four, five. I have a point right there. And then as, as accurately as I have um, drawn this graph, these points line up on a line. And so there I have a graphical solution to the equation y equals 3x minus 2, where each point is on, or this line is made up of an infinitely amount of points, and each of those points represents a solution to y equals 3x minus 2.